Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day here in East Tennessee, and our days like this are numbered. Fall is fall is here, and uh, yeah, depends on when you're seeing this video. But the first, it's fall of the year, and we got them uh, acorns. Boy, the squirrels are over here, and the birds. And they, so if you hear something hitting the metal building here, it's, that it sounds like a gun going off or something. Some loud pop, it's those acorns. I just got the leaf blower and blew them all in the yard. But Mrs. P.I.B. and myself, did you say good morning? Good morning. We're going to, I don't know my, in a way my heart ain't into it, but we're going to do it, like I said, because our days here are numbered as far as having nice days. Weather-wise. Weather-wise, yeah. We're going to play with this 1978 Chevy C10 truck, Billy James. Our plan of attack is, my wife's already got her fall decorations out. <laughs> she got these pillows last year at a yard sale. Just kind of perfect for our, uh, for our yard, for our driveway. Good job, Mrs. P.I.B. Here's our plan of attack on this. As I said, this is we we went to several stores trying to buy some rattle can paint. That's what we do here on this channel, rattle can paint. And uh, they had the most of this shade of red. It's not the shade that we really wanted, but you kind of got to go with what you've got here in this location so we got this gloss cherry red and a paint has went sky high hasn't it yeah yeah got some of this too because i'm going to paint this truck red and white so i'm what i'm going to do is a uh, i guess i'll paint all this down through here white the best that i can uh and i'm going to paint this I know I've told y'all this before, but in case you're a new person, I'm going to paint this down through, from here down, red. From here up, red. I'm going to paint the door red. I'm going to leave this through here white. I'm going to paint all the white again, just, be, just because this truck has been pieced together, and it's got different, it's white, but it's got different shades of white. So in order for me to eliminate that issue, I'm going to go ahead and... uh Paint it all white where it needs to be white. I've got to paint the, I've got to paint the inside of the bed red, the door jams, and a, there's a whole lot of painting going on, as Jerry Lee Lewis would say. Mrs. P.I.B. is going to take off that heartbeat uh, decal for me, but I, I probably won't get that far today. I'm going to get me some black. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to read the. Uh, patina on this truck i'll get it out here in a minute might have to get me another cup of coffee anyway uh, it's it's got some brown it's got some black so when i get to this part on the hood i'm going to get me some vaseline because paint will not stick to vaseline i'm going to put vaseline all over this stuff here i really you know it doesn't i'm not going for per perfection otherwise <laughs> i wouldn't be doing this truck but uh I'm going to try to leave most of this patina if I can. I really like that. Then we'll put some penetrol on it, weather permitting. But uh, I'm going to get me some black, uh, flat black and some brown. And I'm going to go through here just like i done on my 84 Chevy truck left turn bill. These little spots here where things get rubbed, scratched, hit, I don't know. Just I'm going to paint it black and brown. Some of these places you notice just go around through here general speaking uh you know and just kind of put some more patina on it and then I, when i paint it red i'll scuff down to that and uh you know we'll when i see black or black or brown i'm sorry i don't know what i said before black or brown uh i'm just going to kind of splotch it up when i see that i'll know that i went far enough and quit sanding the red paint off so should make for a lot of fun and <laughs> oh, should make for a lot of fun yeah so let's get busy i'm gonna get me some black paint and uh oh 
I got to get some painters tape first. I'm going to come off this right here with my painters tape because this is supposed to have a trim around the bed. But like I said, this truck's been pieced together. It took seven trucks to make this one the way it is today. Seven trucks. So I'm going to get me some painters tape. Tape me off some through here. All the way around through here. And uh, so when I do get some trim, I want, I mean, if I'm painting this white and this red, I just want a, a place where I can kind of stop. You understand? So when I do find the trim, I can put it on and, uh, you know, make it look the best we can with what we have. We're on a budget over here. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, knew, I knew when I said something about money, she was going to perk up. <laughs> Oh, anyway, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get me some black and brown and get busy. I've got to take advantage of this shade because it's supposed to be in the 90s today. And then it's supposed to drastically drop off uh, here in about a day or two. So i got to get busy. Hang in there and we'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, we have our, our Mrs. P.I.B. I want to give her a big shout out, Mrs. P.I.B. for taking this uh, heartbeat decal off she said it must have been in the sun because on it on this side because it uh was really hard to get off but this side uh seems to be well i don't know, you know what? i probably spoke too soon you probably spoke too soon every time we brag on something it quits or moves or something, <laughs> something doesn't it I've been putting this tape on here. Like I said, it's not perfect. But I'm just trying to imagine in my head that's running uphill. I need to kind of fix that. But it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to separate the white from the red. And if I do get some trim, I'll kind of, I won't, hopefully I won't have to paint it again. So that's the goal. I need to adjust. There's a lot of adjustments. I didn't. I don't measure. I just get some tape and stick it on there and do the best I can. Uh, that kind of looks like it's running downhill. I might have to adjust that and bring this. I'm not getting a tape. <laughs> she thinks I know how to read a tape measure. <laughs> no, I'm just going to. I'm just going to go down through here and I'll fix it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what it looked like before she pulled all the rest of the heartbeat off. You can still see it. But I'll get one of those uh, sanding blocks and uh, get all that off. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, Mrs. P.I.B. got the heartbeat uh, with the Chevy Bowtie emblems off. And I've got me some tape down through here. I think it'll be good enough for this truck. She took off the double-sided tape. I got emblems for this truck that she painted for me in the glove box of this truck. It's a Cheyenne. Uh, maybe you can see kind of see the letters Cheyenne. Anyway, it's it looks like brand new in the glove box But I didn't want to put them on till we figured out what we was going to do with this truck And I'm glad I didn't because we're going with red uh, So now Oh, she done a great job What'd you get? Mosquito. Oh mosquito Dang, I thought the truck was falling apart. <laughs> it scared me. I thought the fender fell off. <laughs> Boy. I was bound determined I was going to get She got that skeeter and beat the floor out of <laughs> Billy James at the same time. If you get mad at me, let me know and give me a two or three steps. Give me three steps. Yeah, give me three steps. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to. Okay. Got that part done. I'm fixing to take some of this brown. I'm going to go around some of these places. It's a leather brown satin. The same thing that I used on left turn bill and probably every other truck that I've had. And I've got a little bit of this flat black that I'll spray on here too. We'll see what it looks like. I'm fixing to gum it up. So this is the last time you'll see it looking like this. <laughs> see y'all in a bit. Okay, guys, I told you I was going to gum it up, and I did. <laughs> but I got some brown and rust-colored brown and some black. Just kind of, 
just kind of went over the truck the high spots where you know like your arm or something would rub against it uh, remember this is a 78 model so it's an old truck and uh just done all these places i meant to put some right there i'll do that i forgot you'll see on the other side what i did anyway uh need to do that uh might put a little here too maybe i'm not done yet okay so uh this is what i got done mrs pib has got some uh acetone I'm trying to get that heartbeat stuff off i think it'll do just fine it's not sticky or anything anymore and it's uh that's the part i'll be painting red so isn't it pretty <laughs> <laughs> oh my but this is what we always do i'm going to see if tim dixon at gas x chop shop will fix this that's the only thing i want fixed on the truck right there i don't know how i missed it when it was over there because he's put in rockers and cab corners and done exhaust and everything else but i don't know how i don't know what i was thinking i don't know oh this is what i was talking about like where your arm would hang out now, it won't look that bad when I paint it red. I'm just going to kind of scuff it down where the paint looks thin. That's all I'm after, where the paint looks thin, like your hand, whatever, you know, just, it's an old truck. So, you can kind of, here's a good spot where you can kind of see the black and the brown. I'm trying to kind of make it match the hood. So, that's where we're at. I forgot to take some before and after pictures, but hopefully you've seen this truck enough that you know what it looks like. But, uh, like I said, I've got to, I'm going to try to take advantage of this shade. So I'm going to start painting the top white as quick as I can. And my wife has promised to, well, it, she didn't promise. She said she was going to make me a, uh, tomato sandwich mm -mm. y'all like tomato sandwiches if you do or you don't let me know in the comments i like tomato and mustard she likes tomato and mayonnaise <laughs> no tomato and mustard for me i'm a normal guy so <laughs> so okay i gotta get busy talking ain't getting nothing done so i'll see y'all in a bit well, I'm doing the part that I absolutely hate, which is taping, 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 taping. I've got a lot of taping to do. I absolutely hate doing it. I don't mind spraying the paint so much, but the paint, the taping is what kills me. Uh, I don't do like everybody else, I don't guess. I kind of do it kind of quick as far as painting. I got a piece of cardboard. I just kind of get the edges. You can see... I was wanting to show you this. You can see that someone else has painted this cab before. Someone else has painted this bed from another truck before. And I'm going to get me some Vaseline and put it right here. Because I like that. A lot of people are trying to... <laughs> I kind of do the opposite. Instead of what some people would do and try to... You know, fix it, sand it, all this other stuff. I just do rattle can painting. I'm going to put some Vaseline here. Vaseline here, excuse me. So uh, there won't be any paint. Uh, get on it. Anyway, I've got to do all this back through here. Painting. I'm um, taping. Uh, you can see where someone else has painted this before. I'm just pointing this stuff out so at the when I get done with the truck... I'll have to touch up all this stuff where you can't, hopefully you won't be able to tell it's ever been painted. But, uh, just so you know, someone else has been here before me. A little paint down in here. You can see remnants of paint all, it, where someone's painted it. The bed is off of a, in case you're new to the channel, I'll say this again. The bed is off of another truck. The fenders and doors are off of another truck the hood is off of another truck the insides is why we're going red is the insides are red and the, the color red we got is not the right shade of red but we can't find paint guys just can't uh the inside of the truck was originally uh blue but i bought a junk truck and uh, it had red interior or perfect 
red dash, not a crack one in it. Found a receipt for the dash cover, this this dash, the original dash, and it was like four hundred bucks. So the guy that wrecked the guy that wrecked this truck that had this bed on it and this insides, he gave a lot of money for this perfectly good dash, and I'm real proud to have it. Still a lot to do on this old truck, guys. Uh, it it donated the carpet, the seat, the the dash, and uh, the bed, the tailgate. Then the other stuff on this truck has been from other trucks. This came off of a junkyard truck, and it just so happened, like I said, the Lord is really good to me, and everything was white. So now I'm going to paint it red. <laughs> this is not the right hood for this truck. This is a '79, but I don't care. I just want it to look. I'm not going for Barrett Jackson or Meekum auctions. I don't care about none of it. I mean, it's nice to look at, but I've done had some nice vehicles. Not not that my stuff's any better than anybody else's. Let me, I just like patina style. I'm not scared to park it somewhere or, or, or do something with it. I've had some really nice vehicles in the past, and I was too scared. It seemed like every time I got them out, somebody pulled out in front of me, just blah, blah. It's just something all the time. This... There's nobody, hopefully, you know what, I'm just going to hush. I hope nothing happens. But in any case, it's just an old patina shop truck. Shop truck, patina style truck, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not hurting it. I'm just helping it. I know it looks rough right now, but uh, <laughs> hopefully it'll look good when, uh, when we get done with it. I'm going to keep uh, taping. And I don't want to make my videos real long. So I think I'll end this one here. And uh, then I'll start showing. But my wife is supposed to have my tomato sandwich made. And uh, here in just a minute anyway. Hey, those, that's those things you're supposed to make a wish on. Been seeing a lot of them floating around. Need to catch one and make a wish. But anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, hope you'll... Subscribe and tune in and just see what all, what kind of, hey, there's one. There's one, if I can catch it. I got it. I hope that the Lord will watch over all of you and keep you safe. That's my wish. That's my hope. Anyway, I'll get busy and, uh, Hope to catch you in the next video. This is where I'm going to leave it for now. And uh, I think I'll go in here and eat a sandwich because I'm starting to get kind of weak. We don't eat breakfast or nothing. I'm, I'm not really a breakfast type person, just coffee. But it's starting to kind of catch up with me now. So hopefully, uh, Mrs. P.I.B. will have me a sandwich made. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. You're watching Primer is Best on YouTube. If you'd like to subscribe, I sure would appreciate you can keep up some of the junk that I'm <laughs> doing. And I need to straighten up some of this tape. It's going to take a while to do this, guys. But uh, once I get the taping done, I think it'll go pretty quick. Hopefully. Lord willing. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Primer This Best. Facebook, Primer This Best. Got a second YouTube channel I occasionally put videos up on. It's called Man on a Budget. That is me. And I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. Want to remind you again, in case you forgot or just new to the channel, just stumble across this video. If you have an old truck or an old car that you would like for me to put on my YouTube channel, Primer This Best, send me a video to uh, uh, Primer This Best at Comcast.net or Instagram Messenger, Primer This Best, or a Facebook Messenger, Primer This Best. Send me a video. Two or three minutes long, and if it's one, if you want it to be longer than that, just kind of cut it off. Send me another, the rest of it. Two or three minutes long, my wife will put it together and make one whole video. You can talk about what motor's in it, or what motor you're wanting to put in it, or it doesn't have a motor, or it just come out of a field from sitting 30 years. It doesn't matter. I'm not in a perfection, and most people really enjoy stuff being drug out and saved that's what my wife and i enjoy doing saving old trucks from being parted out or just junked like this one was this one was junked and i know you're thinking boy it ain't changed much but you just have to see it beforehand send me a video of what you're working on or what you just traded for what you just bought 
and uh, I'll, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. You can show your family and friends. Maybe some of them's not able to visit you as often, and you can show them your car or truck, whatever you're working on, just so long as it's an old car or an old truck. I don't want no 2019s or 2020s, really. I mean, they're everywhere. These, not so much. It can be car or truck, remember. Also, if you have a part that you're looking for for your old car or truck, uh, I have another little segment series, whatever, going on on my channel. I'm trying to get going. It's called PIBs. That stands for Primer is Best. PIBs uh, Swapping Shop. So if you say like you're trying to find something for your Rambler, we'll say, 59 Rambler. You're trying to find original steering wheel. I'm just using this for an example. Please uh, give away for somebody to talk to you. And, uh, you know, we can... Uh, post it on there, a way to contact you, someone's here, and uh, we'll just, I'll put it on my YouTube channel, PIB's Swapping Shop, or if you're trying to sell something that some you think someone would be interested in, please put it on, make a video, short video, two or three minutes, with information of, so somebody can contact you, and maybe you can, maybe I can help you sell it. I'm not getting nothing out of this. I mean, it's all for free. So I might get a commercial out of it. That's about it. So uh, appreciate y'all watching. God bless y'all. Say bye. Bye. Catch y'all.